This morning, thousands of desperate Ukrainians in search of safety. 80 buses, part of two Red Cross convoys carrying people evacuated from the northeastern city of Sumy. A separate convoy bringing 200 tons of medical and humanitarian aid to the city of Vinitsia to be distributed around the war-torn country. And overnight here in Lviv, an ongoing Red Cross operation assisting some of the 300,000 displaced Ukrainians currently in the city. It's almost curfew here, but that hasn't stopped people from coming to the Red Cross tent to seek out food and medical attention and even shelter. All these families, so many families, had homes just days ago, and now they find themselves with nowhere else to go. As some left under the cover of night for Poland, Natalia told us she fled Kharkiv after constant Russian bombardment. She says the city is gone. She fled with her three sons. Now here, the lawyer and mother marking her 40th birthday in a strange place, wondering what's next. Happy birthday to you. American Steve McAndrews heading up the emergency operation here for the International Federation of the Red Cross. You guys have the capacity to deal with this? No. No one has the capacity to deal with it all, but what we do have is the unbending intent and the will and persistence to keep at it. In a tent for mothers and children, we met Tatiana and her three daughters, preparing to try and get some rest for the night. Their hometown, Borodyanka, just outside of Kyiv, all but destroyed by the Russians. What do you need? She tells me she wants the world to close the sky over Ukraine. Can you ask them where do they want to go? They want to go home. They want to go home. I hope you guys can go home very soon. This is the tent where Tatiana and her three daughters slept last night. Some really good news this morning, you guys. Uh, both Tatiana, both of the mothers and their children uh, that we met boarded buses here early this morning on their way to Poland. They're actually en route there uh, as I speak to you to start what they hope is a temporary new chapter of their lives. They both want to get back here as soon as this war ends. Greg? Absolutely. Jacob Sobroff on the ground. So much need there, uh, but so much help it would seem right now as well. Jacob, thank you. Be safe. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.